The new card Bone Picker works really well in aggressive decks. However, Stana right now doesn't have many aggressive decks, with most decks going off on turn 4 or 5. The question is, can we make a super aggressive deck in Standard that wins more times than it loses? So the deck I have here is Black Red Aggro. We have 4 Bone Pickers, we also have 4 Collective Brutalities and 4 Fatal Pushes. Both of these cards see a good amount of modern play, and they're very powerful. Now this deck's a bit odd in that the whole point is just dump your hand as soon as possible, which is why we have this prototype card which most people think is garbage, but in this deck it's actually playable. We have a couple ways to dump our hand. First way is Collective Brutality, which can dump as many as 2 of our cards. We also have these two creatures here which aren't very good but they do allow us to discard a card from hand which helps with prototype and the last way we can discard a hand is with this courier card it's pretty okay i would say i'm not gonna say it's good or bad but it does allow us to dump our whole hand and draw a card for every time it's attacked we also have four skin invasions now skin invasion when it first came out people were really hyped about it but over time people seem to have lost interest in it but it's actually pretty good especially in this deck where you can combo it with this card sack it and you get a three four really early on you can also put it on an opponent's creature force it to attack each turn if able and we can also kill a creature to get our three four a few other key cards here first one is the vehicle it's a very good vehicle it sees a lot of play it's a four four flying vigilance and the good thing about our deck is a lot of our creatures can crew it so for example even the prototype even if it can't attack or block can still crew the vehicle as can the scrounger which is very resistant to removal and another card that works really well in the deck is this removal card here and if we control an artifact which we have plenty of artifacts Effects, it'll destroy a creature and deal three damage to our opponent. So like any other deck, it has its downsides, but when it does work, it works very well. It has 19 lands, four of these, three of these, and split evenly between swamps and mountains. So 19 in total, which is very low, but since we're trying to go aggressive, that feels like the right number. Let's take a look at the sideboard. Our whole sideboard is centered around the most prevalent decks in standard right now. So the main thing to worry about is Aetherworks Marvel. We have three dispossesses for that. We can take out the artifact Aetherworks Marvel. We also have a Lost Legacy for Ulamog. So all four of these cards help take care of Aetherworks Marvel. Another deck to worry about is Marta Vehicles. Although Marta Vehicles didn't do very well in their recent Pro Tour, it's still very prevalent. And so we have two cards to take care of artifacts. Another deck seeing a lot of play right now is Zombies, especially on Magic Online. Ever since the last Pro Tour, it's gotten a lot of hype for it. People are playing it a lot. So that's why we have three Sweltering Suns as well as one Flaying Tendrils. Flaying Tendrils is really good in that it can exile your opponent's creatures. And since zombies have a lot of things that come back from the graveyard, it works really well against zombies. A few other random cards thrown in the mix. We have a Chandra. Not too many blue-red decks out there, but enough to worry about them. Uh, it's good against blue-red decks, and it's very slow. You can play Chandra late, even though our deck's not really designed to play things late. Um, but when you play it, it helps extend the game for us. We have a couple other random cards here. One worth mentioning is Chandra. Now, there are a few blue-red decks floating around, and blue-red decks are a lot slower, but they're also very good against our deck. So Chandra helps level things out in that late game. We could play Chandra and extend things and deal damage to our opponent. So let's dive in, see how well the deck does, see if we can win more often than not, and uh, hope it goes well. Opening hand looks good. Let's keep it. Starting with the Courier, swing in for one. We'll also swing in for one again. Uh, let's see. Do we want Skin Invasion? Nah. For the sake of the mana, let's go with Scrounger and pass the turn. What is this? Um, hmm, our opponent could have removal. We'll drop this guy, and he kills the Scrap Heap. I mean, I think the Courier is probably the bigger threat, honestly. And to discourage him from doing the same thing to Courier, let's put Skin Invasion on it, swing in, and pass the turn. Now, looking for our opponent that turn, hmm, swing in. Uh, yeah, swing with this guy and pass the turn. We should probably sack it soon. I'm trying to see if our opponent's gonna try and kill it, because you can't just let it sit there forever, right? What is this? Hmm, all right. So it might be like Jeskai Control or something. Still nothing from our opponent, huh? I was hoping they'd have creatures to dump our hand. Another prototype, hmm. Let's swing in, play another prototype, even though we have a lot of cards we'll draw, and then just uh, pass the turn. No place from our opponent. Uh, should we do it now? Yeah, I'll just do it now. I mean, we can only attack so many times with it, right? Uh, before it just gets kind of pointless. We do get a skin invasion card thingy, and we get to draw a bunch. We're going to try and dump our hand as soon as possible. Ooh, this is not a good dumping hand. Uh, we'll play that. Yeah, how are we going to dump this? Shoot. So this is why a prototype works some of the times and not all the times. Uh... Okay, so he kills it, which isn't too bad because we have Bone Picker in hand. So we'll drop the vehicle, and then a Bone Picker and pass the turn. Opponent fumigates. All right, we're... so they are Jeskai Control. Let's bring back Scrap Heap, put a Skin Invasion on it, crew the vehicle, and that will be our turn. But the Fumigate really did put us back. I wonder what their payoff is. Probably Gear Hulk or Glory Bringer, right? Let's swing in for four again. And if they have Gear Hulk, now's the time to play him. No Gear Hulk. Cycles this. I'm wondering if they're just kind of jammed and not really having much, many plays right now. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Ah, it's one of those decks. 
I've been seeing this deck float around quite a bit. Uh, oh man, it's right, they gained tons of life from that. Shoot. Um, this deck's actually pretty good, despite looking like total trash. So, luckily we drew a Collective Brutality. So here's what we'll do. We'll play Collective Brutality to make sure they don't have another one of those. And we'll combo that with Fiery Temper. So no approach to the second sun, at least for now. So pull from tomorrow, that's a big threat to us. They could draw, whoa, ton of cards. So we'll get rid of that. They do have a Void Shatter though, we have to keep that in mind. Not forget that. So we'll crew our vehicles, swing in for four, and our opponent's gonna have to work quickly to come back. No plays from our opponent. We'll do the same thing, swing in for four, and that gives our opponent one more turn to do something. And let's see what they can do. Okay, they draw two, which means they won't be able to play Approach the Second Sun, which means I don't think they can come back, unless they kill one of our creatures. Anyways, we win that one. Uh, for sideboard, let's see. Definitely Lost Legacy. If we can play Lost Legacy, we can name Approach the Second Sun and remove it. And since they don't really have uh, that many creatures, or we didn't see any creatures, actually, uh, we can put in Chandra, Hazret. Uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. And we'll get rid of four Fatal Pushes. And do we even keep it this thing? And we'll even get rid of one of these and just put a Harsh Mentor in, even though it doesn't really do anything. But uh, with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand could work. We'll keep it. We pull Hazard. All right. Wonder if we'll get a chance to play it. Hmm, that looks suspiciously like the sensor. Eh, if they're gonna sensor something, might as well be the scrounger who can come back from the graveyard. And they don't. We'll see, can they kill it though? Do they have Harness Lightning? Nope. So let's take a look at their hand. We'll use Collective Brutality to discard Fiery Temper. And they do counter it, so I wonder if they have something good in hand. Well, uh, or even if they didn't, it's still worth countering. Uh, we'll redirect Fiery Temper at our opponent and swing in for three. How can we dump our hand quickly? Hmm, this thing needs to die. Like, our opponent needs to kill it on our turn and then play both Bone Pickers. That would be sweet. Huh, let's see. Hopefully, please, please kill this thing. Why? Why? Let's just play Bone Picker. I mean, Hazard we could play, but if they have counter, they can just kill it immediately. So I'm gonna wait till they don't have so many lands on tap. And they play Cast Out. Why do they wait so long to do it? Very suspicious, very suspicious. I wonder if they have like ne another Negate in hand. No play from our opponent that turn. Let's swing in for three. No blocks. Uh, four cards in hand? Uh, do we just play a Bone Picker again? Uh, yeah, might as well. So they go, draw two cards, hmm, and it hits. I'm wondering if they have Fumigate in hand, because they don't seem too concerned about these creatures. But he exiled that, so it's like, this was worth exiling if he has Fumigate, because that way it won't go to the graveyard. So let's see, Fumigate, Harness Lightning. Why can't you do that on our turn? Uh. Alright, four lands untapped, what do we do? Let's play things a little safe. Play the Courier, that way if he counters it, uh, it'll be kind of pointless to counter. So we'll swing in for four. We can get our opponent down to one with the Fiery Temper. So for now, we'll pass the turn. They draw two more cards. Do we just Fiery Temper them now? Yeah, I don't want to risk them countering it. Let's use Fiery Temper. Opponent's at one. What will they do? What will they do? So they play the second Sun card. And since we drew a land, we can play Hazard. And that's lethal. So we win it. Uh, I mean, it wasn't the most competitive deck that we played, but uh, we did pretty well. Second Sun, I, it's been, it's given me trouble before in Standard. I mean, even though it's like not really a top deck or anything, or not even close, but it doesn't, that doesn't mean it doesn't win sometimes. So we're off to a good start. I like the result. I think it plays pretty well. And uh, yeah, and the Hatcher is pretty sweet. It's not main deck, but you know, when it comes in with the sideboard, it's, it's, it's very satisfying. Anyways, let's keep going, see how well we can do. Opening hand kind of blows with this land in it, but uh, we can make it work. Ooh, zombies. We'll start swinging with Courier, because uh, we won't be able to do it for very long. So no blocks from our opponent, which makes sense. This land is super sweet. Look at that. The colors are pretty cool. Opponent plays Mimic, and then passes the turn. Ooh, lands, lands, lands. We need lands. He's not going to block. Let's play another Courier. Swing in with both. No blocks. Ooh, things are getting pretty big here. Still no lands. Let's put a skin invasion on that, swing with one of them, see if they want to block it. No blocks. So if our opponent attacks, we could just block and use Fatal Push. I wonder if they're going to see it coming, though. Plays another one. Ooh. 
So block like this and kill this guy so we can get our guy. Where are our lands? Oh my gosh. Let's swing in. He does block. We could draw four cards, but I think I'd rather just play Bone Pickers. So now we have two out and we'll pass the turn. He could give them Menace, but it only apply to him. Uh, our opponent definitely has the advantage here by far, but we're not out of this yet. Opponent Fatal pushes our guy. Hmm, ouch. Well, this might be over faster than I thought. Opponent swinging in with a 3-2, let's block it. Um, not the best play ever. Where are our lands? Uh, what do we do? Let's just play the courier and pass the turn. The odds of us winning this are almost zero, basically zero. We kind of got unlucky with all the couriers. The couriers are really bad card against zombies because they get so many beefy creatures really quickly. We can't really swing in very well with it. Block like that. Five goes through, and then we'll fatal push this guy, although we can't really win. Oh look, we drew a land, but it's too late. Look at all this, no lands in there. Just all creatures and random stuff. Anyways, let's go to game two. So instead of these courier guys, we're gonna put in four board wipe cards, very good cards. I'm also gonna swap this guy out for one of these and pull in a hazard instead of brawler. That's our deck, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we have Sweltering Suns, so we'll keep it. No plays from our opponent. Hmm, nothing from us either. We should probably kill that, because we don't want the creatures getting too big, we want to make sure that they die from that. So we'll play Skin Invasion on it, and might as well just kill it now. Cool thing about this card is that it's resistant to Sweltering Suns. So I like it very much. Diagraph, hmm. Does it really matter if he gets the tokens, because like, we're just gonna board wipe him anyways. We'll swing in for three. Play the prototype and pass the turn. Pretty good, pretty good, but more good for us. Board wipe. We'll swing in for three. And we'll also drop Bone Picker. If we don't win this, then I don't know. I mean, we're, we're probably going to win this because, like, next turn we'll dump Fiery Temper. Swing with this, hopefully. Opponent has five cards. Liliana's Mastery? Five, five lands. What did I say? Cards? Five? Yeah, same thing. Liliana's Mastery? No. Dark Salvation. All right. This will be most good indeed. Kill that thing, get a 3-4, swing in with both of these guys. Long road back for our opponent. Opponent plays Liliana's Mastery, but too little too late. We'll kill the creature, one of them, and swing in with all of our guys. And that's game for us. All right, well that went well. Hopefully game three goes as well as that one went. Uh, not gonna change anything though. I think we're good as is. Let's go to game three. Can't keep this, this isn't good enough. Small it. This is better, we have Sultering Suns again, Skin Invasion and Fatal Push. Looks just like the last game's hand, so pretty good. And another Skin Invasion, we'll keep that on top, that's good. Nothing from our opponent. Whoa, missed the land drop. Oh geez, another Skin Invasion. Well, we can't really do anything until our opponent does something, so it's kind of unfortunate. Jesus, uh, uh, I will play the uh, vehicle, okay, great. I mean, uh, I mean, it sucks because like we're an aggressive deck and we're just sitting here and it's just so open. Oh my gosh, he's gonna miss it again. No, he missed it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is embarrassing. All right, well, let's play the prototype. Crew it and swing for four. I mean, he probably has fatal push or something. I mean, seven cards in hand. Like, what is he? What is this? Wait a minute. He could have played that card. Oh, I see what he was doing. He thinks we have board wipe, which we do, and he's gonna wait till we get a bunch of stuff. I mean, or wait, what is he? Wait, what actually is he? I don't know what he's doing now. Um, this is very strange. I'm going to start putting the skin invasions on the prototype to see if he does anything. So he lets it happen. We'll put the second skin invasion on. Finally, he plays something. We'll play skin invasion on this one again. Play a prototype and pass the turn. This is going to be sad, though, if he just has one land the entire... I mean, he has to have more than one land, right? Is he just, like, messing with us? Or... I mean, it's like a paid match, so, like, he's not... I mean, he's not going to just throw it for fun. Well, this is kind of awkward. Let's pass the turn. We'll plan on killing the prototype when our opponent attacks. But it looks like we know better than to do that, so we'll kill our guy, and I mean, it looks like it's going to be a really sad game three. Let's collect a brutality, discarding one of our cards, so that we can look at our opponent's hand. We'll get rid of tendrils. Yeah, it's a lot of big stuff. I mean, he must have gotten super unlucky. One land, he's played four, th oh man, four things here, a bunch of stuff here. I mean, wow, that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't want to win the match like this, because this is not a fun way to win, um, but... I mean, I guess you can, you know, you take what you can get, I guess. Kind of kind of sad, though. He does draw another land, though. 
this is where he makes his comeback. Plays a mimic, but we'll just fatal push it. Uh, man, I mean, that's some really bad luck. I mean, that's like some of the worst luck I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, there's bad hands, but I mean, why did he keep a one land hand? He probably watched the Pro Tour final and was like, by keeping a one land hand, that's the way to go. Um, but he should have learned from the mistakes. You don't keep a one land hand. Unless you're like super confident about the hand, but like the hand didn't seem worth keeping a one land hand for. So anyways, well, we won it, uh, sadly, but uh, cool. I mean, I think our matchup against Zombies was pretty good. I and mean, we had Sweltering Suns in hand, so even if he had like, insane plays, uh, we still could have probably taken him out. Uh, I mean, late game, he had a lot of late game stuff, though, but uh, we have a pretty good matchup against Zombies because of three Sweltering Suns and a Tendril. So, all right, well, we won. Opening hand, we can keep this. So we'll start by Courier, getting some swings in so we can discard a hand at some point. Now will work really well with Prototype. The problem is we have a Smoldering Marsh. Not a good card to have in an opening hand. Luckily, we draw a Swamp here. Cool. So we'll drop the vehicle and swing again with Courier. So two lands untap is probably a Sensor, Essence Scatter, or a Negate, but most likely a Sensor. So let's drop Skin Invasion, see if they try and counter it. They don't, but hmm, the problem is they can still have Sensor, in which case we probably should have played the prototype. If they're blue-red, they probably have a, a wide variety of counters to choose from. Uh, and if they counter prototype, I wouldn't be that angry. Let's play prototype. It's not the most valuable card, because it won't be until turn two uh, to activate it. Uh, let's see, counter, Sensor? Yep, Sensor. It's fine. I think I'd rather have the Skin Invasion anyway, so we are going to sack it soon. This card, huh? Is that playable? Now, it should be fine as long as our opponent doesn't Magma Spray. So if we Magma Sprays it, that's really bad news for us. So it looks like we're safe now. So for our turn, we'll swing in for one. We won't sack it just yet. We'll wait till our opponent's turn to do it. And we also have this in case they play a creature. And hopefully they don't have Disallow either. That could be a problem as well. Do they have Disallow? Hmm. They might, because if he, if he has a Disallow, he could counter a triggered ability uh, or activate ability as well, right? Um, let's see, let's just go to our turn. Pull Scrap Heap, we'll play the Scrap Heap. Crew the vehicle, and swing for five. Cycles the sensor. Opponent's already down to 11. They've got to do something quickly. Yeah, I mean, we probably should sack this now because we get a 3-4 in the process. What is happening? What kind of deck are, what? Well, enough of these shenanigans, let's sacrifice this thing. Now we have a fresh new hand, nice. So on Scrap Heap, we'll put the skin invasions. We'll play the second Scrap Heap so that we can crew. And we'll swing for 10. Now, I'm a bit slow in the head because we could have won with Fiery Temper already. Oh, man. To be honest, I have been doing so many recordings lately. I've done at least 30 recordings like this leading up to this point. But in the end, I didn't use those recordings um, because I just didn't think the, the quality was high enough. I didn't think the, some of the older decks versions of this were good enough to show. Um, and my mind is just wiped after doing it nonstop for a very long time. Um, yeah, I've made a couple mistakes here. The prototype, you could say it was a mistake, um, because we did play a skin invasion instead of that. And if we'd played this first, we might have had a better chance with it. Uh, and the second mistake being that the game should be over right now. Um, and now the opponent's just like cycling through things. All right, well, even with these mistakes, I think we still win. Uh, let's just swing in. Or actually, before we swing, no, I think, these th I think it through, I can't rush to it. Um, slow down. Let's play this guy which will cause this to be discarded, target our opponent, even if that doesn't work, we still have the creatures to come in. Yeah, can't rush this. So even with my mistakes, we still win. Now, I'm not 100% sure what our opponent's deck is. I'm thinking it's new perspectives, because there was a lot of cycling cards. So they probably have Drake Haven, and they probably have new perspectives. So we could use Lost Legacy, and we can remove it from their deck. And since it doesn't really look like we're gonna use removal against them for creatures, we can swap in a couple other random cards. Hazard and one Chandra instead of three Fatal Pushes. And with that, we'll go to game two. This hand's a bit rough, but I think we can keep it. Fortunately, we draw a land, and with two lands, let's play Scrap Heap and pass the turn. No place from our opponent. We have a prototype in hand. We have a lot of ways to dump our hand. Let's try swinging in for three. Hmm, nothing from our opponent. Let's try playing this guy, and then discard Fiery Temper if it hits. So it does hit, so we're gonna try and do Fiery Temper directly at our opponent. And it does go through, so our opponent's at 14. Not much going on for our opponent. Let's try swinging in for six. Opponent's at eight. Uh, we'll try dropping uh, Scrap Heap and pass the turn. Yeah, it hits, all right. Ooh, nice one. Well, there goes our creatures. Didn't expect that. If I did, I should have used Collective Brutality instead, but I didn't expect it. So let's try dropping a Scrap Heap. Yeah, we're kind of in a 
rough spot now because they probably have a good amount of counter and removal. Or maybe not. Eh. Still not much going on from our opponent. We'll swing in for three. Hmm. Opponent's getting rid of that. So we'll drop a scrounger and then put a skin invasion on it, and that will be our turn. Oh, what is this? Uh, sure. I'm not sure if that helped our opponent or not. I mean, they're tapped out. So we swing in for three and then play the vehicle and another scrounger. And we'll see if our opponent can do anything on their turn. They do have eight cards in hand now, right? So they could do something. Whoa, what is this? What what deck are they running? So he's exiling our scrap heap. So we'll play the scrap heap from our hand so we can crew the vehicle. And we'll swing with both. And if he blocks the scrap heap, we can play both bone pickers. So he's blocking the vehicle. The opponent goes down to two, but since he killed one of our creatures, we play both bone pickers. Yay! I don't see our opponent can win unless they bounce all of our creatures with uh, engulf the shores. But other than that, I think we have this one. Nothing yet. They do have an Ulamog. What? What deck is this? Is this like a random ramp deck? Oh, we have Chandra. All right, let's swing in. And if that doesn't work, we'll play Chandra. Well, they stop all the combat damage from coming in. But let's try and go for Chandra. Ooh, and they have a negate. All right, well, our opponent bought themselves one turn. Let's see what they can do with that one turn. Searching some more. Opponent swinging in for five. I assume they have like a Gear Hulk or something to bring it back. Uh, it doesn't really look like it though. I mean, the Gear Hulk went here. Let's try swinging in. I assume they have a way to stop it. So we'll hold back with one of our bone pickers. So they do stop it. Uh, so we'll play prototype and pass the turn. Our opponent's really holding back the flood here. And they're swinging in again? What? Let's just block with bone picker. It has death touch, so... Yeah, so it died. I don't understand. Opponent's looking for stuff. And we have fiery temper. Let's go ahead and fire it off. Uh, should we try and fire it off or should we just attack first? Uh, let's just attack first, see what our opponent does. We'll swing with all of them. Aha, Gear Hulk. Oh, oh, all he does that. Oh, look. Third of you. Mwahaha. All right, so we win. I never really figured out what the opponent's deck was about. I, I guess it's just late game stuff. I mean, he did do a pretty good job late game of holding us back, and we had a ton of creatures and they were able to uh, delay it in the end, but just didn't get there. And that's the power, that's the power of the deck. I mean, I'm not going to say this deck's amazing for beating their opponent's deck, because their opponent's deck wasn't really that fierce. But our deck is very fast, and by the time they kind of got into that sweet spot, uh, they were already so low on life that a Fiery Temper could take them out. Anyways, that was fun. Let's go to the next one. Opening hand is kind of keepable. This land's horrible, but uh, let's go for it. Oh, okay, good. All right, let's play the Courier. Swing for one, and opponent discards it. So it looks like we're up against Blue-Red Emerge discard, so they probably have, like, Drake Haven and stuff. We'll drop the vehicle and pass the turn. This guy already... Jeez, he has two more in his graveyard. Ooh, man. Let's collect a Brutality. Discarding Scrounger. All right, so good thing we got rid of this, even though it won't be a threat for a while. Um, and we can also drop Bone Picker to crew the vehicle and swing in for four. Another one of these things. We'll bring back the Scrounger, crewing the vehicle and swinging in for seven. It's going to be a pretty big race here. Um, if our opponent gets too much stuff, I mean, they're drawing so many cards, and we're drawing cards too. But I'm worried about these guys. Let's drop a courier, as well as a prototype. Opponent cycling, so I'm thinking that this could be lethal here if they don't have removal. And it is game. All right, that's interesting. I know this deck's pretty good. Like right after standard, right after Amakai came out, this deck ended up winning. Uh, and it seemed like blue, red, and merge is going to be like the next big deck. And it just never really took off after that. But it's definitely a deck to worry about. It's a good deck. But uh, let's go into game two. Not a whole lot for sideboard. We'll bring this in as well as two Chandra's in case he goes to late game, and a Lost Legacy. And we'll get rid of a couple prototypes because with a card drawing thing, it's going to be hard to play it, as well as two Fatal Pushes, and with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand is somewhat keepable, so we'll keep it. Opponent's already discarding things. Uh, is that a threat? Kind of. Drop the vehicle for two. We could really use a second or a third land. I think he's probably going to bring this thing back. So we'll play the Scrounger, crew the vehicle, and swing for four. Opponent brings back Big Boy, which triggers this. Uh, uh, this deck's scary. This thing. Man, where is our land? Let's drop this guy, getting rid of Chandra. I thought his deck would be a little bit slower than what it is. Pretty fast right now. Crew the vehicle, and we'll swing in for seven. Just gotta hope we can win the race. We do pull another land. Kills our scrounge. Opponent's getting close to lethal, and he can bring that back. Oh, snaps. Uh, I really want to kill that creature. But our lands will be tapped, huh? Well, it looks like we're going to game uh, three. Sean was asking for a bit much, but I think we still keep it in. Let's go to game three. I am confident that our deck will win. 
Not that confident, actually. It's a pretty close one. Uh, let's see how it goes. One land hand, can't keep that. Uh, I guess we keep that. Put this on bottom, and we'll swing in with this little guy. Let's take a look at our opponent's hand. Hmm, could have killed it. Well, uh, we need to be worried about this. I don't think so. Let's get rid of Magma Spray. Swing in with this guy. He could have killed the artifact, though, with the other thing. Will he do it? Nope. Let's drop the prototype, uh, even though I can kill it, though. Uh, will he try and kill it? Ooh. Uh, let's risk it. He might wait since we can sack it. But if he waits too long, we'll just use Lost Legacy next turn. So he does it now. Let's we'll just sack this thing. And we have some more artifacts to play with. Smoldering Marsh will drop the vehicle and the scrounger. And then pass the turn. This dies. Oh boy. Opponent plays a creature. Uh, what do we do? Let's put Skin Invasion on it. I hope we draw removal or a creature or something. We're just sitting here though. Opponent plays Fevered Visions. And we can kill it. Let's just do it now. Let's crew our vehicle with it. Swing in for four. And hopefully we can blow him out before he gets our shit together. Crew the vehicle. And swing in for four, unless he kills it. Opponent goes down to six. Oh man, that's a pretty good combo. Opponent plays another one. Swings in with all of them. So what happens if we draw a creature? He must have a removal, right? He wouldn't risk losing over that. Not what we wanted to see. Shoot. Well, we'll hold back the block. Ugh. Opponent plays this thing. And it looks like they're going to win it. Um, I guess that's the end of our streak. Well, we did pretty well, I guess. What, we won like three out of four? So not terrible. Yeah, I don't know. What do we say about this deck? I don't want to keep our opponent waiting. Let's continue. But the deck is good. It's just not super good, you know? It's like very hit or miss. Like, we end up getting three of the same vehicle in hand, or two in hand, one on play. If we had drawn a creature and they hadn't played that big guy, maybe we would have had a shot. I mean, it's... I definitely wouldn't go out and buy the deck thinking that you're going to win a Grand Prix with it or anything. But it's not a terrible deck. It's not that far off. So when the next set comes out, you know, it might have a couple good black and red cards in it. It might make the deck work. It's very close to working. I mean, if there is going to be a breakout aggressive deck, black, red could be that. It's almost there. It's close to being there. Uh, we did well against the main decks in the format. We did well against Zombies. Uh, Teamer is kind of like hit or miss, where like Teamer can win quickly or it can win uh, not so quickly. But overall, it was fun playing with it. I mean, if you wanted to go out and buy the deck just for to have fun with it, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. But as far as like being a top deck, just isn't there. But we did win more than we lost, so that was kind of cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more standard videos like this, you can let me know by subscribing below. And if you have any other suggestions for videos, you can let me know in the comments as I do read every comment. And as always, I hope you have a great day.